Hi, God. Thanks for the shine. Hello, people. I am Alec. Okay. So today's day one. It's Sunday. Sunday, day one. Okay. This is the first day of the week. And um, we're going to do a slideshow because we like to hang out with the word. But then this one is going to be different. This one is going to be fun, right? Because yesterday on the Sabbath day, on the seventh day, we were hanging out. And then we were hanging out with God and we were hanging out with the word. And then we were just like, let's tell a story, right? You know, let's tell a story. So then we were like, okay, let's put together a story from the Bible, King James Version, Holy Bible, right? You know, so we put together a story and then we put it together in the slide form show because the reason why we were doing this is because we were also watching, you know, the, the screen and then we were seeing, you know, like how the movies used to be back in the day and then they were all full of fun and action and adventure, right? But you see a, a pattern. There's always a pattern to the stories from back in the day. And, you know, it's a hero's journey, right? So then we were like, well, wait a minute. This looks awfully much like the stories in the Bible. Every time that I see it, it's like you have a little baby, you know, the little baby's going to be the savior and then the little, the little baby has to go on an adventure but then you see all of the people that are surrounding the baby what they have to do in order for them to protect the baby so the baby can grow up and then save everyone right you know sounds a lot like my lord jesus christ right you know so so then we were like okay boom let's just get this story going and then we're going to do the slideshow now <laughs> Because it's it's just going to be so much fun, man. Okay. All right. So you're going to see on the screen, it's going to say God's love story, Israel's only savior, right? It's coming from Isaiah 43, um, verse 1 through 28, chapter 43, verse 1 through 28, right? King James Version, Holy Bible, man, right? You know, then underneath it, it's going to say, we, the people, I, I'm one of the people, have a duty and an obligation. That's a fact, man. Build, right? Instruct, instruct, instruct. <coughs> I got a cough. And then we have build and then instruct, 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 because that's what instructing means. Instruct means to build and build means to instruct, man. So much fun. Okay. Timestamp, December 112022. Go time. All right, let's go. Okay. So we always got to walk you through the matrix, man. You know, every time we walk you through the matrix, we use the word, right? Hold on. <coughs> I got something in my throat. Uh, me, 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 me. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a sip. <clears throat> Man, it's like literally, it's like sitting right here <clears throat> in my throat, but whatever. Okay, so we got, we're going to walk you through the matrix, right? You know, it's going to say John 14, 6. I'm going to pause. Hold on. Boom, we're back, man. I had to go and I had to clear my throat because, you know, it was just tickling. You heard me. You saw what we were doing. We were like choking over here, man. OK, so back to the story. So we're going to walk you through the matrix. That's why we have this image right here going on. And and the red pill is going to be the word. Always, always. The word's always going to be the red pill. And we got John 14, 16. It says, check these words out. These are going to set you free. Jesus saith unto him. I am the way, the truth, and the life, man. That's a fact, okay? No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Remember that, man, okay? King James Version, Holy Bible. So that's how we got to the Father. We got to the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ, right? And then we got the Holy Ghost, and then we got our squad. And then we were set, man, you know, and that's just how we do it now. Now we just walk people through the matrix, and then we show them, hey, look at this word, and hey, look at that word. And we do it all the time, man. It's just so much fun, man. That's just what we're supposed to do, man. Duty and obligation. OK. All right. Let's keep it going. God's tech. Check this out. Right. Check out these words. So much fun. OK. So I have God's tech because, you know, I used to be and I still am a tech. Right. You know, I was a technician for the body. Right. You know, and then tech means skill and art. Right. You know, so I understood the words and I understood the art of the body. And then, you know, God was building me for that. So now I'm just God's tech, man. That's what I am. I am God's tech. Right. I'm nothing more, nothing less. You know, God says, get out there, go do stuff. I do it. You know, that's all I do, man, because I'm God's tech. OK, that's why we got to check out these words. So much fun. OK. Keyword flow. Ready? Here we go. Beginning is Reshith, right? That's Hebrew, okay? Uh, first principle, things, first fruit, right? You know, so we're getting these words from the Strong's Concordance, right? With KJV, okay? So that's why we had to get these words because it's just fun, man, when you see what these words are. So you can see what beginning is in, in English and then you see what beginning is in Hebrew or in Greek, okay? All right, let's keep it going. God is 
Elohim or Eloa or El or Ayel or Ul, which is all Hebrew, okay? You know, which means God, strength, oak, post, ram, tree, twist, body. Boom, we like that, man. That's that's musical, okay? Here goes another one. Heaven is Shamayim. <laughs> that's Hebrew for sky or air, okay? That's flow, all right? Let's check this one out right there. Earth, earth is, you know, check this one out right here, okay? So this says, earth is Eretz, right? That's Hebrew for be firm. Mm-hmm. Remember that one. That's also trust, okay? Be firm, land, common, wilderness, world, okay? That's what Eretz is, and that's what earth is, okay? Let's keep it going. Created is bara. That's Hebrew. <laughs> that means to create, to cut down, select, feed, make fat, man. Okay, we like that one because, you know, fats also takes us back to life too, okay? All right, here goes another one. Israel is Yisrael, right? Which is Hebrew for he will rule as God, okay? Oh, that sucks, you know, but it's fun. So it's a symbolic name for Jacob, okay? You know, so Yisrael the Hebrew, he will rule as God, symbolic name of Jacob. All right. Remember that. OK. And then you got Jacob is Yaakub. Right. That's Hebrew for heel catcher <laughs> for Jacob, the Israelitish patriarch. OK. You know, so that's where everything came from. All right. As far as the Israelites are concerned. OK, so here we go. Only is rock. <laughs> That's Hebrew for lean or thin. All right. You know, so so look at that. I rock, you know, I rock. That's that lean, thin. Right. You know. All right. Here we go. Savior is Yasha. That's a smooth one. Yasha for Hebrew or that's Hebrew. Right. You know, which means be open, wide, free. Uh oh. You know, so when you got that free, you got that love. And when you got that love, you got that Christ. That's that Jesus Christ, man. You know, that's why we always got to track everything back to to love and free. You know, free and love means the same, same. OK. All right. Here we go. Jesus is Iasos. That's in Greek. OK. You know, so the name of our Lord. Right. And two other Israelites for Yahoshua. Right. Or Yahovah or Haya or Hava, which means to breathe, to exist, right? Or it means to breathe, to be, exist, okay? That breath, that smoke, that's what we're talking about. All right, here we go, let's keep it going. Christ is Christos, right? You know, that's for Greek, right? Which means anointed, and then you got Messiah, Right. And then you got Creo, which means to smear, right, to smear or rub with oil. Right. And then we're getting into the Hebrew time now. You have Mashiach. Right. Or Mashak. Right. Which means to rub with oil, anoint paint. OK. You know, that's what God does. Right. You know, done. All right. Done. So those are the words, man. When you got God, heaven, earth, created, Israel, Jacob, only Savior, Jesus Christ. Done. Okay. If you understand those words, you're going to be free, man, all the time. All right. How are we doing on time? All right. We're cool. Let's keep it going. Okay. So this one's going to be a bit long because, you know, we got a bunch of stories, you know, clipped in together. Right. You know, and it's just going to be fun because you see next slide says God's love story, the creation of the heavens and the earth, man. You know, so... We're getting ready to walk this out. This one is going to be fun. But <clears throat> before I do that, let me take a sip. Also, thank you for hanging out with us. You know, it's fun reading the word. <clears throat> All right, let's get into God's love story. The creation of the heavens and the earth. OK, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth right or that creepeth upon the earth okay so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he them okay you know so whenever you got the thems you're talking about male and female all right that's what the thems mean okay let's keep it going and so on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it, 
he had created rested. He had rested from all his work, which God created and made. OK, that's why we're always hanging out with God on the Sabbath day, on the seventh day, because that's the day that God rested on. So God said, yo, I built all this. I built all this because I made man. I made man on the sixth day. Now I'm going to chill on the seventh day, man, because I'm happy. I'm happy. Right. You know, so so then that's why, you know, the Sabbath day is, is just one of those days where, you know, all men, all women, all people we're supposed to hang out with God and we're supposed to be like, yo, what's up, God? Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything that you created for us, man. You know, it's just a beautiful story, man. That's why it's God's love story. OK, so if you're going to check out the flow that we're going in right now, there's going to be some time jumps. Right. You know, so we're going to go from like Genesis 1, 1. Right. And then we jumped all the way to Genesis 1, 26. Right. You know, so God created a lot of other things in between that timeline. Right. You know, but those are other stories that we can talk about later. We're just going to be doing, you know, the story, the love story of man. OK, man, woman, child, the people. All right. All right. Here we go. God's love story. Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden, man. This is fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayst freely eat. Okay? You know, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. Uh-oh. Thou shalt not eat. Sounds like a command. Okay, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. All right? So God gave us his first command. Don't eat from that tree. Okay? And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. OK, so God's watching us now and he's like, yo, you guys need some help. We're going to make you some company. OK, let's keep it going. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam right to see what he would call them and whatsoever adam called every living creature that was the name thereof right you know so all the names of all the creatures come from adam what's up shout out okay and adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field but for adam there was not found and help for him. Oh no, Adam's all by himself. Adam doesn't have anyone to hang out with, all right? And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. Sleep, Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof, all right? You know, God's always setting up these scenes, man. This is a beautiful love story. And the rib which the Lord God made taken from the man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. OK, so God made from Adam's rib a woman. Right. You know, you know, so then God said, all right, we're going to hook you up now, bro. You know, and Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman right because she was taking out of man okay you know so that's where the woman came from right you know so the woman came from the man right this is how the world that we live in was created okay therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh right we call that marriage right you know let's reread that one more time therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother by mom by dad right and shall cleave unto his wife hello woman and they shall be one flesh okay one flesh one body all right sounds a lot like the church okay and they <clears throat> were both naked the man and his wife and were not ashamed okay so they're just running around happy they're not ashamed of what they look like you know or anything like that man this is a beautiful story done okay you know let's keep it going <laughs> Next story, God's love story, the fall of man. OK, you know, this is how this is how men fell. Right. You know, this is what's up, man. We're going to show you how how the fall of man took place according to the Bible. Right. You know, which is the law. All right. Check this out. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made, man. You know, sneaky little serpent. Right. And he said unto the women, yea, hath God said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden question mark oh so look at this right here the serpents are already trying to question what god has told the woman okay you know the ones that are in second in command okay and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden right you know but of the but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden god has said ye shall not eat of it 
neither, she's adding, right, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Okay, so if you see right there, you know, God never said don't touch. He just said don't eat. <laughs> Right. You know, so we already uh, we already have the woman adding on to the story, man. You know, she's already adding on to the story. You know, that's why we always say don't add to the Bible. Don't take from the Bible, man. The word is the word, man. You know, because once you add or once you take, you're now deviating. And now it's something else, man. All right. Let's keep it going. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die <laughs> for God for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof then your eyes shall be open and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil right you know look at this right so even the serpent is adding on words right and when the woman right you see so now you got the serpent that was adding on the wood on the words because god never said that right you know so where where is the serpent getting this part of the story from i don't know that's why they're sneaky okay all right let's keep it going and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eye she liked how it looked and a tree to be desired she wanted it right to make one wise so she wanted to be wise right you know because the serpent said as gods right so she wanted to be as god right she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat man you know so they broke the command right you see what's going on right now you know so you got tricked by the serpent right and, you know the serpent told you to do some stuff because you know the serpent was adding to the word and taking from the word and then he said go ahead and eat it because you're going to be as gods right he said you're going to be as gods right and then boop you know what would we call that ego okay <laughs> all right let's keep it going and the eyes of them both were open and they knew that they were naked oh no they're naked now they're like oh my gosh i don't have any clothes on right and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons right you know so <laughs> the serpents are already messing up the jam man all right, let's keep it going. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden, man. You see that? Why hide from God, man? You know, so Adam Adam and his wife, they already knew what's up, man. You know, they already knew that they did, they did a no-no. They broke a command and now they're hiding from father, man. Just sucks, man. You know, I know how that is, right? <laughs> okay, let's keep it going. And the Lord God called on to Adam and said unto him, where art thou? Where art thou? Adam, where art thou? So God's calling Adam, where are you, bro? I'm looking for you. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself, right? That's shame, man. You know, so Adam has shame now, man. That sucks. Okay, let's keep it going. And he said, who told thee that was naked? Question mark. God's asking questions now, right? You know, so God's trying to find out some intel. You know, hadst thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou should not eat? Question mark. Mm? You know, did you eat from the tree that I told you not to? Right. <laughs> Check out what Adam says. And man said, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she... <laughs> He's pointing fingers already. The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. Right. You know, so, you know, he's at least he's saying it. Right. But he said she gave it to me. So I ate it. Right. And then the Lord God said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? Question mark. Right. You know, God's asking questions. So we ask man the question right now. He's asking the woman the question. And then she said, the serpent beguiled me and I did eat. Right. So she's pointing the finger at the serpent now, you know, wasn't me was a serpent. Right. You know, but I did eat it. OK. And then Lord and then and then the Lord God said unto the serpent. See, he's going down the list. Right. You know, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field upon thy belly shalt thou, thou go and dust shalt and dust shalt thou eat all the days of the life man you know so that's what god did boom you're on your belly homeboy right you know so god put the serpent on its belly which means i guess the serpent was walking around how was it walking around? I don't know. It doesn't really say that in the Bible, but it does say you're going to be on your belly for now and on. But then it says this, right? This one got me thinking. It says, and dust and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life, right? You know, so that one, 
oh, excuse me, that one had me thinking, you know, because I was thinking like, God formed man from the dust of the ground and then blew, you know, and it blew that smoke into the man and then man became a living soul. Right. You know, so now I'm seeing right here is that the serpent, you know, the serpent's going to eat the dust. Right. You know, so the serpent is always going to be eating at man, man, you know, and then that one just, you know, blew my mind right there because I'm like, yeah, that's still going on to this day. You know, so this is how we tell stories. You know, we just do we do we do side bits and stuff like that. You know, so now we know that the the serpent is always going to be chewing at man because man comes from the dust, right? And we're going to go back to the dust. Okay, remember that. All right, let's keep it going. 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed, right? It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel, man. They're going to be beefing always okay you know check this out unto the woman he said right you know so serpent boom you're done man you know we know what's up with you now he's going to the woman right you know so now he's walking it back up okay unto the woman he said i will greatly multiply thy sour the sour thy sorrow and thy and thy conception oh no <laughs> is this why women are so depressed all the time i don't know could be all right let's keep it going you know i'm just throwing these bits in man it's story time okay and the conception or and that conception let's reread that one again unto the woman he said I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Okay, he's setting order right now, you know. All right, let's keep it going. And unto Adam. All right, so now we're at Adam now. And unto Adam, he said, because... Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Oh, man, we got to... Uh, excuse me. Now we got to work, okay? Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat of... And thou shalt eat the herb of the field, right? Dang, man, we had it going on before this. Okay. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground or out of it for, I'm sorry, for out of it wast thou taken for dust thou art and unto dust shalt thou return, man. Dang, that's a cold, that's a cold blooded thing that God had to do. That's why we got to work so much now. All right, let's keep it going. And Adam called his wife Eve because she was the mother of all living, right? You know, unto Adam also, unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin and cloth them. Okay, so God's still hooking them up, right? And the Lord God said, behold, right? <laughs> the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now, right? And now at least he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. All right. You know, so God's saying we got to do something here, man, you know, because he already knows what's up. He already knows. He already knows what's good and what's evil right now. We got to keep it going. Okay. So God's setting up the game board. <laughs> Therefore, the Lord God sent him forth from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. Work, man. Right. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubims, cherubims. Right. You know, those are those are protectors. Let's look that up real quick. Right. C-H-E-R-U. Uh, what is that one? Yeah, as an order of angels, right? You know, so the cherubims are like angels. So they're the ones that do the protecting, right? You know, so now you got a guard, right? You know, <laughs> so let's reread that one again. So he drove out, he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the Garden of Eden cherubim or cherubims, right? And a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree or, or to keep the way of the tree of life, man, done. OK, you know, so that's how that's how man fell. 
right? You know, man fell, scary simple, because they didn't follow the rules that God set up, man. You know, that sucks. But then you already see, you know, who the characters are, man. You know, so you got man, you have woman, right? You know, then you have the serpent, right? You know, right? Then you have the serpent, right? And then you had the fruit, you know, the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, right? Or the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And then, you know, they broke God's command, man. I mean, it's real simple. You know, if God said, these are the rules, follow them, right? And then you're like, okay, got it good, right? And then you have somebody else coming and whisper in your ear, you know, because that's what serpent means. Serpent means to hiss and whisper, right? You know, so then when you have someone whispering in your ear and then they turn you away from God, then you know, you're going to, you're going to fall, man. Every time, this is just a pattern that happens all the time. It's always going to be like that. I think for now and on forever. Okay. All right. Here goes God's love story, time flow or timeline flow, man. Okay. Hold on. Let me take a sip. How are we doing on time? We're okay on time. I think I'm going to take a pause after this bit right here. You know, after I read the timeline flow, you know, because then we have some more stories that we're going to take. All right. Hold on. Ah, it's fun, man. Okay. All right. Here we go. God's love story. Timeline flow. All right. Check it. Here it goes. Okay. God created everything. Remember that. Okay. God created man from dust and woman from rib of man. Okay. Remember that. Okay. God gave man dominion over all the earth. Okay. Remember that. Okay. You know, God gave command to man. Okay. Remember that. Okay. You know, the serpent, his whisper, right? You know, we like this one, you know, the serpent, his whisper unto the woman and man and woman break God's command. Okay. Remember that. Okay. You know, so you have to look at this one, like it's a scene and then you're seeing all these flashbacks right now. Okay. Boom. The fallen times of God's image, man, because Man was created in the image of God, okay? And then the corruption of earth maladministration, man. So the whole earth was in, the whole earth just became corrupt. Why? Maladministration. Why? Because they didn't follow the rules, okay? You know, the call of Noah build the ark okay so god called noah he was like yo noah right you know and then noah was like what's up <laughs> and he was like got it good i'll build it right you know then the flood the flood wiped out wipe out no more maladministers okay that's what happened right there right you know so god called on noah noah said okay got it got it good everybody laughed at noah you know then god said boom here's a flood right then everything was wiped out no more maladministers okay bye bye maladministers right reset thanos okay let's keep it going then you got the Noahic covenant, right? New contract, right? New administers, okay? You know, so God's setting up a new covenant, which means new contract, which means new men, new administers, okay? Scary, simple service, right? All right, let's keep it going. Then you have the descendants of Noah, right? We like Noah because Noah means rest, right? And then you got Shem and Ham and Japheth, right? You know, so those are the descendants of Noah, right? You know, so all people came from Shem and Ham and Japheth. Right. Remember that, man. So when you look around the world right now, everyone came from Noah's bloodline. Right. Shem and Ham and Japheth. Right. Period. The end. Right. You know, so these are all my brothers and sisters that wander around all there. All people are created in the image of God. Remember that. OK. You know, it doesn't matter what you are, what you look like, how you speak. You are an image of God. You were created in the image of God. Period. The end, man. You know, all people are trust protectors of God's creations. Remember that. OK. You know, because God gave us a duty and an obligation to administer the whole realm. OK. All people, oh, that's what we said. All people have a duty and obligation to administer God's dominion with love, okay? You know, how do we do that? Through Jesus Christ, all right? Remember that, and you're going to be free. Done, okay? You know, so we're going to take a pause right now, you know, because then we're going to jump into the next love story, man. We're just having fun right now, but we see what our timestamp is right now, and then we just want to take a break and then stretch it out, man, you know, because, you know, that was one episode, okay? I'll talk to you guys in the future. Be right back back. Boom, we're back, man. We like this movie magic stuff, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and continue the story, okay? So here goes God's love story. The Holy One of Israel, your Savior, okay? That's title. We got title. All right, let's get this one going, man. This one is smooth, you know, because, I mean, it's just fun, all right? You know, so we're going to hang out now. We're still in the Old Testament, all right? All right, here we go. One. 
But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Remember that, man. Who are we? We are God's property, man. That's what God's saying right now, man. You know, you're mine. You are mine. All people, you are mine. You are God's property. Done. Period. The end, man. You know, like once you realize that, you know, segue, you know, once you realize that, I mean, it's so freeing, you know, that you know, like, well, the only way that you get to Father is through Jesus Christ, right? You know, so once you say, oh, what's up, Jesus? You know, and then Jesus drops that knowledge on you and he drops that love on you and you're like, oh my God, and then you bend the knee, right? <laughs> and then you're like, boom. And then, and then now you got access to Father, right? And then Jesus gives you a comforter called the Holy Ghost, man. You know, I mean, it's just a beautiful love story. You know, like God gave us the Holy Bible, King James Version, you know, it's just a beautiful love story and then we love it. Right. And then this is why, because thou art mine, you know, I am God's right. You know, no one else owns me. God owns me. And then this sometimes has been like a hard thing for people to understand, you know, is because it's like, this doesn't belong to me. This belongs to God. Right. You know, and whatever God tells me to do, I do. Right. And then I see what he tells me to do because it's in the Bible. Right. You know, everything that I'm supposed to do is in the Bible. Right. You know, so once I see what I'm supposed to do and it's says love it says love god with all your mind with all your heart with all your soul and then love your neighbor like you love you love like you love yourself and if you love yourself like you love god boom that's it man all laws come from love remember that because that's what jesus our lord our god our savior told us man you know and, and that's why this is beautiful because thou art mine you know i'm god's man you know and that's just fun to say you know it's like when people try to say you know that's my son you know it's like you got biologicals out there you know that can say that right but that's cool but you just know that god created all of them right and then we are god's property man done period all right you know let's keep it going Two, when thou passeth through the waters, I will be there with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee, man. You know, God's always with us, man. I love this, right? For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, okay? Ethiopia and Seba for thee, all right? So God's already given the people stuff, man, you know, all the time. He's always showing, he's always caring for them, man. You know, I mean, you see that story because, you know, it's like when he saw that Adam and Eve were like, we're naked, right? He was like, all right. I got to put these, I got to put these little children in clothes now, man. Come here, little children. Let me put you in clothes now. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Okay, he's still hooking it up. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather from the west. Right. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from far and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Man, he's calling, you know. All right, let's keep it going. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory. I have formed him. Ye, yea, you know, I have made him. Man, you know, I always get ye and yea mixed up, okay? Eight, let's keep it going. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears, right? You know, you got people that have eyes, but they can't see. And you got people who have ears, but they can't hear, right? Nine, let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. What? We got to come together. We got to unite. What is that? That's called follow me, follow me. Christ always says that. Follow me, follow me. Walk with me, walk with me. Unite with me, unite with me. Assemble. Okay. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Question mark, right? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified or let them hear and say, it is truth, man. You know, you want to bring your witnesses, bring them, right? Or you can hear it and then say it's truth. But that's if you have the eyes and the ears, man. All right, let's keep it going. 10. Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God form, neither shall there be after me. 
period, man. We love that bit, okay? 11, I, even I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no savior, right? Laying down the gauntlet, right? I have declared and have saved and I have shooed or showed, right? When there was no strange God, little g, among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God, big G. All right, remember that. 13, Yea, before the day was I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. Remember that I will work and who shall eat and who shall let it? Question mark. Let's reread that one again. I will work and who shall let it? Question mark done okay you know the holy one of israel your savior man that's what's up man thank you god thank you for being our savior all right let's keep it going god's love story right <laughs> a way in the wilderness man you know this is a beautiful love story all right let's keep it going 14 thus saith the lord your redeemer the holy one of israel for your sake i have sent to babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the chaldeans whose cry is in the ships okay right i am the lord your holy one right the creator of israel your king right you know let's read that one again we love that one i am the lord right your holy one the creator of israel your king man we got one king right you know that's what's up jesus christ our lord our savior done man we love this one so Okay, pause. We got to take a pause because we, so this is Old Testament, right? We're in Isaiah and Isaiah's is Old Testament. And if you see this story, it mirrors the New Testament, right? You know, and then the New Testament was written, you know, way, way after the Old Testament, right? You know, so then this is how we have that prophecy where you think you just see how the stories match up, man. You know, we see that we're talking and we're having a story and a conversation and God is laying down, the, he's laying down the law, right? He's showing you what's up, right? And then he's saying, I'm your king, the holy one. I am the Lord, right? You know, that is Jesus Christ, man. That is Jesus Christ. So God sent down his only son, right? You know, to be the savior for everyone, man. Remember that, man. That's what's up, man. We love this story. All right, let's go ahead and get back in the story. Okay. 16. Thus saith the Lord, which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters, right? which bringeth forth the chariot and horses, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched. They are quenched as tow, right? That's what's up. Remember, 18, remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Okay, reread that one. That's a, that's a cold line right there. 18, remember ye not the former things okay forget about it forget about the old stuff right neither consider the things of old okay if it's old don't even worry about it Whoop, wipe it out your mind right 19 behold i will do a new thing okay remember this behold i will do a new thing we're living through a new thing right now now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it question mark right i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert man okay i gotta pause on this bit right here and i gotta take a sip because you know isaiah 43 19 that's telling you know that's very much marrying the story that we're going through right now hold on let me take a sip we're okay on time all right you know because this is what happened is that all of god's people a lot of god's people including myself we were asleep you know i did not know anything about you know who father was i didn't know anything about who jesus christ was from the bible from the book king james version you know i knew I knew what other people told me, but I didn't know what's up, man, until, you know, until the Corona times came, right? And then the Corona times came, and then all of a sudden you had these people who were supposed to be, you know, people's servants, right? You know, they were like, they were like corporations, right? You know, these are things that the people created, right? And then they're telling the people what they can and can't do with their body, you know, what they can put on their face or in their body, and they're telling the little children what they can and can't do, and then they're telling people, you can't go see the old people, right? And then we're just like, whoa where whoa where did you guys get this power from right you know then we found out that they never had the power then we found out it's because the people lacked the key of knowledge because the lawyers hid the key of knowledge from the people then we found out that it's all biblical 
Right. Then we found out that what we were supposed to do is we're, we're supposed to build, right? And we're supposed to instruct, 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 and we instruct by showing the word, right? You know, and, and that's all we do now, right? You know, and then once we realized, you know, when we got to the Father through Jesus Christ, you know, we were free. We were set free because we got that love now, right? You know, because God said, I will do a new thing, right? You know, so there's a new thing that's happening right now in the realm because all of government entities have been acting out of bounds, man, you know, full circle, right? You know, so all of our public servants are not following the rules that were set by the people. Therefore, they are all maladministers. Therefore, they're going to get wiped out like the flood, man. You know, it's just like we're in that pre-Noahic time, right? You know, so before, you know, you had all the people running around and then they weren't following the covenant and then they were breaking it, right? They were called maladministers. So God said, let's wipe them out. I'm going to flood this whole realm, right? You know, but Noah, you know, I'm going to hook you up with an ark, a vessel that you can float in, bring the people in there and then bring your family in there and then your family will be safe, right? You know, and then boom, we're going to wipe this whole slate clean, man. That's the new thing that's happening right now, right? You know, so you got a lot of people running around scared right now because they don't know what's up. They don't know what the word is. They don't know what the hierarchy is. They don't know that God created everything, right? You know, they don't know that Jesus Christ is our Lord, our Savior, right? You know, they think other things, right? You know, so then when they follow the other words of other people, they get tricked. They get turned, man. They got other people whispering in their ear, man. You know, and then now you know what that is? That's the serpent, okay? You know, so... That's why God's doing a new thing, man. You know, shout out to my man, David Jose. You know, David Jose showed us the word, right? You know, he showed us what the order is. He showed us the law and he said, it all comes from the Bible, man. We were done after that. He set us free, man. He was like, you know, I was like, let us free, let us free. And then David Jose said, boom, check out the Bible, bro. Right. And then, and then we started to read it and he said, now check out the constitutions, bro. And then I was like, wait, what? Right. So I'm reading the constitutions. And then in the preamble, it says, we, the people, you know, thankful to almighty God, you know, fast forward for our freedoms, right? Do establish this constitution, right? So I saw the people. I'm one of the people. I saw who the people were thankful to. They were thankful to God, right? Because God is the creator, right? You know, and then the, cre and then the creator created the people and then the people created the constitutions, man. That's just how it goes, man. You know, so that's why God's doing a new thing, which is an old thing, which is the same thing, which means we have to follow God's rules, man. Scary, simple service, okay? All right, so let's Let's go ahead and continue this one, man. That was 19. 19 just sets me off, man. I'm going to read it one more time, okay? 19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Question mark. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Mm -hmm. Right. We're going to be taken care of, man. We're not worried about anything. All right. Let's keep it going. 20. The beast of the field shall honor me. The dragons and the owls, because I have waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen, right? You know, my people, my chosen, God's chosen, okay? 21. The people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise, man. You know, that's all we have to do is we just got to praise God and thank God for what God created for us. And then we just have to manage it, man. Done. OK, you know, so that's a way in the wilderness. We're done with that bit. All right. Let's keep it going. You know, God's love story. We love these love stories. Israel's unfaithfulness, man. Oh, no. OK, so, you know, now we're going to get back into some drama. OK, here we go. Twenty two. <laughs> God hooked us up and then look at the, the people now they are now they're unfaithful to God man all right let's go 22 but thou hast not called upon me O Jacob but thou hast been wary of me O Israel right look at that man God hooked you up God saved you and now you're not even calling on God right you know golly man that sucks man you know pause that's why we're always thanking God that's why we're always saying hi God thanks for the shine right because we wouldn't have this shine if it wasn't for God man God created the shine for us right the people and then we praise God every time every chance that we get man like we love hanging out with God you know because it's fun right it's fun it's cool it's hard you know because a lot of people think that you're crazy you know or they think that you don't know what you're doing right but then i'm just saying i'm just following the commands man you know and god said if you love me follow my commandments man boom it's simple for us man that's that military background in us okay all right let's keep it going 23 
Thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings, neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices. I have not caused thee to serve with an offering, nor weary thee with incense. Man, look at that, man. He's just setting up this thing right here. Okay, 24. Thou hast brought me no sweet cane with money, right? Neither hast thou filled me with the fat of thy sacrifices, but thou hast made me to serve with thy sins, okay? You know, thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities. I'm going to pause on that one, right? That is so true, right? You know, every time that I always hear on the screens and things like that when people are always you know trying to hook up with god you know it's always like you know oh god you know my sins my sins right you know or you know help me get rid of my sins right you know or you know it's always like woe was me help me woe was me help me oh god help me woe was me it's like yo you don't hang out with god when the times are good man you know like when the times are good and everybody's crushing it and everybody's having a good time and you're just like yo i'm off at the zoo hanging out with the people right you know and i'm just like thank you god you know thank you for this day boom we get to go and crush it man you know every time i go and i talk to another image bearer you know when i get to talk to one of the men or one of the women out there you know i'm excited i'm happy because i get to see god's creation in action right sometimes they don't know it you know they don't know what's up you know i don't care you know because i'm still going to talk to them because i love them you know everything that god has created i love it man i love it because i'm like it's so much fun because it's so cool because we know what the hierarchy is man and it is just simple so like we we were never the ones you know that would say oh oh god help me get rid of these sins right you know because we didn't have that type of relationship at all period with god right but then when we found out you know what type of relationship we're supposed to have we're supposed to love god with all our mind with all our heart with all our soul Boom, we're cool, man, because we know how to love and we know how to care because that's what we did when we were in, in the healthcare setting is that we just cared for people, right? We just love people no matter what, man. You know, it's like, you know, if you were sick and you were injured, I don't care. I love you. I want you to be healthy. I want you to be whole. I want you to be one. We will try to make you that way, man. We will try to get you there no matter what, man. You know, and, you know, a lot of people don't listen because they don't like to follow the rules. <coughs> it's the same thing. It's the same cycle, right? When you want to understand why are people upset, why are people are depressed, because they don't follow the rules, man, right? You know, it's so simple, right? You know, they, they don't they don't like to hang out with God when the times are good, but they definitely like to call on God when everything's all upside down, man. That's what's up. Okay, all right, let's keep it going. <laughs> Israel, you're so unfaithful. All right, here we go, 25. I, even I... Am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake and will not remember thy sins, man. You see that? You know, he's like, boop, I'll wipe your sins out. OK, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified, man. OK, he's laying it out again. Thy first father has sinned and thy teachers have transgressed against me. OK, he's telling you the order. He's telling you what's up, man. You know, Adam sinned, right? Adam sinned. And, and all the teachers ever since then have been transgressing, man. You know, that's why we always got to follow the word, man. You know, our God's a living God. All right, let's keep it going. 28. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches, man. Done. Okay, done. <sighs> Okay, that's sad, you know, but it's cool because we see what's up, man. You know, once again, you know, God's people don't listen, right? They don't listen because at times God always hooks them up. God always saves them, you know, and then he hooks them up and then they're, they're all, they all get fat and happy and then they forget what they're supposed to do, right? And then they start to create all these rituals and things like that, traditions, right? They start to do traditions and then they always start to say, well, just, you know, protect me from the sins, right? You know, and then that's just what they do, man. You know, and then now we know that we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to have a relationship with God like we're, we're supposed to have relationships. It's it's a marriage, right? You know, you got the bridegroom and you got the bride. I'm a bride, right? You know, so I know how to act as a bride, right? I also know how to act as a bridegroom, right? Because I'm also a husband, right? Because, you know, that's the, the hierarchy, right? You know, because I'm supposed to be the head of the family 
at the level between the husband and the wife, right? You know, just like Jesus Christ is the head of the church, right? You know, and in the church is the woman, right? You know, so Jesus Christ is the bridegroom, right? You know, he's the head of the church and the church is the woman. And then boom, once they marry and then they follow what the head does, man, you're going to be free, man. It's so much fun. All right, let's keep it going, right? God's word source. That's what's up. We're doing okay on time. God's word source. Check this out. The creation of the heavens and the earth, right? That's coming from Genesis um, 1, you know, verse 1 you know, all the way to chapter two or chapter one, verse one, all the way to chapter two to verse three. Okay. KJV. Okay. Then you got Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden, Genesis two, verse 16 through 24 KJV. Okay. Then you got the fall of man, right? That's Genesis chapter three, verse one through 24 KJV. Okay. Then you got Israel's only savior, right? The Holy one of Israel, your savior, Right. Then you got Isaiah 42, verse 1 through 13, KJV. OK, then you got a way in the wilderness. Right. That's Isaiah 43, verse 14 through 21, KJV. OK, then you got Israel's unfaithfulness. Isaiah 43, 22 to 20, 28, KJV. OK, that's what's up. We love to sip. Done, man. Hold on. Let me take a sip, right? Because sip and sup is the same thing. And then that's what happened at the Last Supper, you know, when Jesus was like, yo, you want to sup with me? Right? We're like, yo, we'll take that sip, bro. You know, so we like to play with the words, man, because that's what God told us what to do. Okay, hold on. Let's close out. Thanks for listening. Done. Okay. You know, then we got the matrix, right? So we just walked you through the matrix. Right now, we're going to walk you back out the matrix. But remember, matrix means mother, right? And then this is what the red pill is, right? Because father's always giving us the red pill, right? Because the only way you can get through father is right here. Check this out. John 14, 6, right? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay. No man cometh unto the father, but by me. King James Version, Holy Bible, man. Okay, so I'm going to take a sip on that bit right there. Because that's what's up, man. You know, so we got this one. You know, we got this one. So this was a cool bit to do, you know, because this was God's love story, right? Israel's only savior, right? Isaiah 43, 1 through 28, right? King James Version, Holy Bible, okay? Okay. <laughs> We laid it out because we, the people, have a duty and an obligation, right? We must build, instruct, 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 okay? That's it. That's the timestamp, man. You know, so, you know, we're cool now. You know, we had to do this story because, you know, we were just tired of seeing all the stories mimic and take from the Bible, right? You know, but then they add a lot of other things to it, you know, and then we just think that the Bible, the love story that God has left for us all to read, all men, all women, all children, we can all go read the Bible where right? we can go open it. Right. And then you can check it out. You know, we hang out in the KJV because that's what's up with us, man. You know, because that one has has been has been the one that has not been taken from and has not been added to. And it is the English version, man, because, you know, I mean, you know, fun fact, we're not Greek. Right. So we don't understand Greek. We're not Aramaic. Right. So we don't understand Aramaic and we're not Hebrew. You know, so we don't understand. We don't understand the Hebrew. Right. You know, we come from America. Right. You know, so we understand English. Right. And, and that's why we get down with that King James version, because it's in English. OK. You know, so that's it. I'm done now. So I'm going to put this together. I'm going to upload it and then I'm going to go have some fun, man. You know, because that's what's up. OK. So I'll talk to you guys in the future. Remember, nobody's having more fun than us. Bye.